Welcome to A Moment of Bach, where we take our favorite moments from the composer's vast musical output, just a minute's worth or even a few seconds, and show you why we think they are remarkable. We are your hosts. I am Alex Giebert. And I am Christian Giebert. Everyone has heard the music of J.S. Bach in some way or another, but many of us have bonded deeply with some of its moments. Here's our chance to delve into those cherished moments and unfold the music a little. Join us for our weekly Bach Moments. The first episode releases on Monday, January 25th, 2021. And enjoy our recording samples provided by the Netherlands Bach Society, their monumental All of Bach project to perform and record all the works of J.S. Bach will serve as source material for our episodes. The Netherlands Bach Society has been around since 1921 and are experts in the performance practice of Baroque music. Their recordings are top-notch, and we will be referencing many of them and encouraging you to explore them more. Thank you, Netherlands Bach Society, for these high-quality performances. Let's take a short preview. The Dona Nobis Pacem from the Bach Mass in B minor. Alex is going to particularly focus on one moment. You only have two notes on the timpani and works from this era, but it was still pretty amazing. That timpani comes in right there at a crucial part of this piece. The cantata, Nun komm der Heiden Heiland. He repeats the words and knock and knock at the door. It's so strange for the first thing you hear after some silence to be this. That's not how music is supposed to start in, in 1700. Music is supposed to start like this. But this... is like, there's somebody at my door. It requires a follow-up action. It's such good text painting. Behold, I'm Jesus. I'm at your door. I'm about to come into the world. The Baroque trumpet could actually only play certain notes. The lower you are, the fewer notes you could play. And that's why the opening of the Magnificat has this trumpet fanfare type of stuff. I chose Wacket auf, ruft uns die Stimme. It is based on an old hymn tune. Imagine being in church and hearing this music that was arranged by Bach, you would hear a lot of original sounding things, but in, interspersed in there, and really at the core of what you were hearing, you would hear a recognizable tune. Wake, arise, the voices call us of watchmen from the lofty tower. There are 21 variations in this piece before the Passacaglia ends. So first we hear the theme, then the next thing we hear is the theme repeated, but other notes above it. So each variation is introducing something different. My favorite moment, when the bass has a little bit of an unexpected note, and then just floats, floats, floats down to its lowest note. The simplicity of it and the idea that even without a true melody it's really just stripped down and that's the genius of Bach is that it's still perfectly complete without it. So Alex, for our first episode, what will be our first moment? Our first moment is a triumphant moment from the Dona Nobis Pacem Chorus from the Mass in B Minor. And that episode will release on Monday, January 25th. Join us then. Enjoy your moments of Bach. <laughs>